Hey guys, Video James, and today we're going to be looking at how to use Gyarados and Mega Gyarados. I've actually, this is a video I kind of wanted to put off for a while, because when I do my how to use Pokemon videos, I usually try to stray away from some of the most popular stuff and the most overused stuff, and try to go more towards some of the obscene stuff, some, well, not obscene, obscure stuff, some of the stuff that hasn't really been seen as much in... Pokemon battles, like, um, if I can think of something. Yen Mega. Yen Mega I did, and it's not really seen that much. Um, who else? Who else? I know, I know there's some that I've done, but just an example, Yen Mega. A lot of people don't really see the uses behind Yen Mega, and I actually covered that in a video. So, that's usually what I try and do with some of my videos, is I try and stray away from the most popular stuff, and go towards some of the stuff that's still... A little relevant but at the same time some of the stuff is more obscure but anyway we're going into Gyarados today I really just couldn't think of another one to do other than Gyarados because it's one of the weirdest ones and it's one of the oldest ones water and flying being its major strategy back when it was made that water and flying gives it almost the only resistance being electric while also giving it the resistance to rock a resistance what am I doing the weakness to rock However, when it does Mega Evolve, it does get a lot more weaknesses, but we'll get into that in a minute. And Gyarados does actually get the Intimidate ability, which lowers the opponent's attack when Gyarados switches into battle. As well as the Moxie ability, which raises uh, attack stage by one if Gyarados takes out a target. So, like, Gyarados takes out a Typhlosion, gets one attack raise. And Intimidate is probably the better out of the two, just because... It can kind of save Gyarados from a lot of situations. That with Gyarados not having a lot of sustain, being water and flying, and just being able to absolutely get wrecked by electric, Gyarados does kind of benefit from the um, Intimidate in the fact that it actually gets a little bit of a stat booster. And then we see in his base stats, it's actually pretty good. That Gyarados is actually one of the first Pokemon that it actually really gotten a good use competitively. That we've got 95 in the HP, 125 in the attacks, 79 in the defense, 100 in the special defense, 60 in the special attack, and then 81 in the speed. So Gyarados actually is a very well-rounded Pokemon. Like Gyarados actually gets a lot of stat boosts, or stat boosts, stat numbers that you wouldn't really expect to see on first gens. Well, at least not first gens without Megas. And then we see Gyarados' Mega Evolution actually is one of the few that got a type change, turning him into a Water and Dark type. Meaning now we actually also have the resistance to Grass and Fighting, as well as Bug and Fairy. So that's going to end up being kind of a problem for Gyarados, giving it more weaknesses. However, we did lose the Rock, rock weakness. Ugh, why am I not being able to speak today? And with Mega Gyarados, we get the ability Mold Breaker. This Pokemon's moves are not affected by foes' abilities during battle. Which is actually really awesome, because Mold Breaker is going to come in handy with so much stuff. With stuff like Mimikyu and other Pokemon that are protecting themselves with abilities instead of just using Protect or Detect or something like that. And then we see Gyarados' stats just get even better when it Mega Evolves. That it goes up to 155 in the attack, 109 in the defense, 130 in the special defense, and it stays at 81 and 70 in the special attack. And then we move into Team Builder, and usually when you're running a Gyarados, you're kind of going to see some tankier builds. That most of the time you're going to see stuff like Assault Vests, or you're going to see maybe Leftovers sometimes, possibly a few Aqua Rings from Baton Passes. But anyway... We see the first set is basically just a sweep set that we've got Waterfall, Crunch, Earthquake, and Iron Head with max attack and speed investment. Now let me explain the moves. Waterfall is actually getting the stab bonus from the water typing, plus the 80% chance, 80%, plus the 80 base power and the chance to flinch, which is actually why Waterfall is one of the better water moves up there with Scald and I'm trying to think of the other one. I had one in my head. Um... I don't think it was Surf. Hydro Pump, that's where it was. Although, Hydro Pump is kind of going down in usage a little bit. And then we see Crunch, just for that 
80 power in the dark, plus the 10%, 10, 20% chance to lower a target's defense, which is actually really good considering how much of a physical attacker Gyarados is. And then we see Earthquake just for that electric coverage, and Iron Head just for that rock coverage, plus the 80% chance to... Why do I keep saying 80%? They're all 80 base power. The 20% chance to flinch. Finally. And then, like I said, the stats basically just maxed out in the attack and the speed, because Gyarados is kind of going to need that speed a little bit. You can kind of swap it around to where it's full HP and full special defense with an adamant nature, but I kind of like this one a little bit just because it gets a bit of tank from the Assault Vest, and it gets a little bit of defense rays from the Intimidate indirectly. So like I said, max out the attack, max out the speed, and then throw on a Jolly or Adamant Nature, whichever you really want. I don't think he really needs an Adamant Nature, considering he's already hitting 349 in the attack, but again, that is a little bit weak, that some Pokemon are going to be able to take that. And then we see the next set, basically just a set upper that we've got a Dragon Dance, Taunt, Toxic, Waterfall set, with the Leftovers and Intimidate again, and a little bit of Spread EV investment. I don't think that's right. Yeah, that's not right. Let me fix this real quick. That defense, good sir, is supposed to be in defense, not attack. Why are you four again? I swear to God, Showdown, fix your stuff. I know I shouldn't be harking on Showdown, because it is a website, and it's really kind of buggy a lot, but still, I mean, it's really buggy. Especially on this mobile platform. But anyway, like I said, this one's a setup more of an actual doing things, that we've got leftovers with the Dragon Dance, and the Taunt, and Toxic, and Waterfall. And the Dragon Dance is just there for attack and speed boosting, that without actual investment in the attack, you kind of need a little bit of a pick-me-up. And that we've got Taunt just as a kind of stopper, that Gyarados and Taunt actually work really well with how tanky it is. We've got Toxic just for that health lowering without actually doing any actual attacking. And then just Waterfall for the direct damage plus stat. Now, the EV investment on this Gyarados is a little bit complicated, but let me explain. Let me explain. You see, we've got the 252 in the speed. That is for, basically, speed raising so that we get up to where we need to. And then, after one Dragon Dance, we're basically hitting the exact range of speed that we want to that we'll be getting into the 390s. And then, the HP kind of just needs almost full investment that we just slam 200 into the HP and we're basically getting what we need. That we're basically getting enough tank to where we'll survive a little bit but we won't be just investing everything into HP and having no backup. And then we see defense is where the rest of the investment is. I do put it in defense because of Intimidate. That with Intimidate lowering the attack, you just kind of want a little bit more defense boosting into that Gyarados. You could put it in special defense too, but like I said, Gyarados has already 100 special defense, so you can kind of rely more on investing in the defense, but you can switch into special defense. And then, just throw on the adamant nature just to give him a little beef, give him a little bite to his bark. And then we see, moving on to Mega Gyarados, that we have a basic Dragon Dance sweeper set, that we've got Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Ice Fang, and Iron Head. Why are these stats constantly changing? 252, what? No, 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 no. Not where you need to go. Oh, that was 52. Oh, I thought that was the speed. My bad. But anyway, this set is basically... Wait, no! This is the last... No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Shut up, I'm stupid. But this is basically just a Mega Gyarados sweeping set that we got Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Ice Fang, and Iron Head. You can run Crunch as opposed to Ice Fang... I do actually kind of think Crunch would work better than Ice Fang because, I mean, let's face it, Gyarados doesn't really have much use for Ice Fang considering it's a Water Dark type except for taking out Pesky Grass types. But then we see Waterfall for the Stab plus the Flinch and then Iron Head for the Flinch plus Damage and then just Dragon Dance for that Attack and Speed Boosting. And then we see the stats kind of similar to the last one but the stuff is actually in Special Defense. 
And that is actually a mistake. That is actually supposed to be in the defense. There we go. I did it. I fixed it. But anyway, again, max out the speed, max out the HP, and then just... Well, not max out the HP. Slam 200 in the HP and then just throw the rest into the defense because of the Intimidate ability. That with Gyarados sending off Intimidate before it Mega Evolves, you're still getting kind of a little attack lowering on the other Pokemon, plus the chance to actually survive a few hits if they try and land you with physical moves. So this Gyarados, like I said, basic super set. You do also want the adamant nature on it for the attack because, again, he needs a little bit more attack since you're not really investing into it, but it still runs really well. That This is a very common Gyarados set. That you're going to see a lot of people running something similar to this set. Either they'll completely max out attack and speed and throw on a speed boosting nature, or they'll just max out HP and speed and throw on an adamant nature again. But then, moving on to the last Gyarados set, it's kind of a tanky Mega set, which I actually really like. I, I'd have to say that this is my favorite Gyarados set, just because of the complete douchery of it. That we've got Thunder Wave, Substitute, Waterfall, and Crunch, and 252 in the HP, 200 in the Defense, and 52 with that careful nature. So, with Thunder Wave, you're basically slowing everything down to where its speed's cut in half. Which means most Pokemon are going to be cut down to around a Gyarados level. And you're going to be able to outspeed a lot of them. And the substitute's just there for like, okay, fine, but you hit me with a super effective, or I'm not going to go down. And then we just got Waterfall and Crunch for damage. And then in the stat investment is basically just tank set. That with us having lower defense and special defense, we want to invest it almost all into defense. Just so we can kind of get the boost. And then just max out the HP and throw the remaining 52 into special defense and throw on a careful nature. So that way we'll be able to take a stray Moonblast or a stray Leaf Storm, I want to say. I want to say Leaf Storm is a move you'd see against the Gyarados, but I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be how to use Gyarados. Again, I kind of wanted to use a more obscure Pokemon. I didn't really want to use Gyarados. Gyarados was actually one that I was planning to save till way later. But, I did actually want to do a more obscure Pokemon, so if you guys have anything you want to see, as always, please let me know down in the comments, and if you did like this video, go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.